in New York there's this man and he and his wife started a Muslim TV network and one of the goals of the network was to combat stereotypes about Muslims and recently the husband was arrested and charged with beheading his wife way to fight those stereotypes well, I bet the Muslim community is now collectively going ooh, ooh yeah nice one way to go thank you people weren't paying enough attention to us so thanks for reminding everyone that we're here and such great timing too it just so happens I have a business flight next week so when I get to the airport oh, it's back to the little room for me you know what that means, huh? Do you, huh? Do you know what that means, huh? 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 It means I get to go with the friendly customs officials to the little room for a chit chat slash cavity search. And I get to answer all their questions. <laughs> Why, no, there aren't any bombs in my luggage, but you should know that because you already x rayed it, but thanks for asking anyway. Yes, that is a picture of my wife. <laughs> no, her head is not in my luggage. We don't all do that. Eh, just some of us. <laughs> I shouldn't joke. Yes, I'm going to Afghanistan. Of course I am. Where else would I be going? My ticket says Germany, but no, I'm actually secretly going to Afghanistan. But you you cracked the code. Good for you. Uh, I'm going to Bin Laden's cave, actually. So uh, any message you'd like me to pass along? Bad Bin Laden, bad you. Yeah. You want me to say that? I can do that. I'm going there anyway. And yes, thanks for asking. I would prefer it, actually, if you'd put on the latex gloves. Um, I'll try not to clench this time, but no promises. No, 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 you just keep asking your questions. I, I didn't want to be on time anyway. Actually, could we switch rooms? I would love to be in a room with a view of the tarmac. Uh, that way, I can wave goodbye to my plane as it flies off without me.